This is the penthouse of the most expensive condo project in Bangkok. Do you want to take a look? Let's go. Hi, this is TJ from TJ Stories. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a globalized Korean living in Bangkok, Thailand. I work for a real estate company, so I get invited to see all these open houses and new projects. So, in the last seven years, I've seen almost 100 different residential projects all across Bangkok. So, today, I'll take you guys to see currently Bangkok's most expensive and ultra luxury condo project called Scope Lang Swine and give you a quick tour of one of a kind penthouse units that's valued at 432 million Thai baht. Wow, that's roughly 12.4 million US dollars. Can you believe that? Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Scope Langsuan, the crown jewel of freehold condo built on the most expensive piece of land in Bangkok, is located on the most prestigious Langsuan Road, which is comparable to New York's Park Avenue and Tokyo's Ginza. It's just 100 meters from BTS Chitlong Station and only minutes away from the luxury Central Embassy Mall. It has a total of 34 floors and only 134 units. The interiors have been designed and furnished by Thomas Jewel Hansen, a world-renowned Danish designer who also designed the most expensive apartment in New York called the 157 building. The term condo that's used in Thailand is actually the same thing as apartment in other countries. And all condos in Thailand come with basic amenities like swimming pool and gym. Let me first show you the amazing amenities of Scope Lang Suan, starting with a business lounge where you can get free coffee. You can drink coffee here. Loud space. There's mailbox and extra storage space that you can rent. And since the apartment in Bangkok tends to be very small, it's always nice to have extra storage. And they even have a wine storage where you can store your favorite vintage wine. The pool here I heard uses fresh water system that doesn't use chlorine. And I heard you can book this entire pool lounge for your private party. Wow. And check this out. The gym here is so spacious and has all of the top of the line techno gym equipment. Even a private running studio, a jacuzzi, a sauna, private spa, and even a makeup studio where you can get your private makeup and get pedicure and manicure where you can totally pamper yourself. <laughs> I think this is my favorite room. Lucky children who live here. <laughs> and the music room. Oh, I wish I had this growing up when I was preparing for K-pop auditions. <laughs> but the next room, I think is my favorite room in the whole building. Let's go see the cinema. A real 25-seater luxury private cinema. If I ever get to make my own film, I hope I can book a place like this and have my own private movie screening party one day. Hopefully. Let's take a look at two bedroom showroom size 160 square meters with starting price around 95 million Thai baht, roughly 2.7 million USD. The average price per square meter for a luxury freehold condos in Bangkok is around 250k to 350k per square meter, but for Scope Lang Suan, the average is around 600k Thai baht per square meter, roughly 17,000 USD per square meter. This is 5 million Thai baht kitchen. Wow. 
and fridge. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. This is the best of it now, right now. 400 yeah, series. series. Wow. Is this included too? Yes. Wow. There's even a dishwasher. The smallest one bedroom unit in Scope Lang Suan is around 82 square meters with starting price around 40 million Thai baht, roughly 1.14 million USD. By comparison, you can buy a 45 square meter high end one bedroom unit in other neighborhoods for around 300,000 USD or less. 436 square meters, three bedrooms, and four meters high ceiling, and 360 view of whole. It's designed and fully furnished by a world-renowned designer, Thomas Johansson. Depending on the neighborhoods and developers, you can find penthouse units in older condos for around 50 to 140 million Thai baht, around 1.5 to 4 million USD. But this one-of-a-kind penthouse unit is 436 million Thai baht. That's roughly 12.4 million USD. Because freehold condo like this, it's extremely rare in Lang Suan area. I heard the kitchen top is Taj Mahal quartzite, very rare luxury stone from Brazil. With state-of-the-art bulltop kitchen with top-notch Gagano appliances and fridges from Sub-Zero, including the wine cellar and a dishwasher which is very rare to have in Bangkok. Quarter. I heard even if you don't have your own maid, all the residents get complimentary cleaning service three times a week that's included in your management fee. If I can live in a place like this, I wouldn't mind being a maid. <laughs> Second and third bedrooms come with the astonishing view of Bangkok skyline. That's the backside of Central Embassy and American Ambassador's house. And did I tell you? It's not very easy to find a pet-friendly condo, especially for high-end or luxury projects. But Scope Lang Suan is big dog friendly. And I heard they even have pet grooming service on the second floor. And there's a private elevator that opens up to semi outdoor sunset lounge towards the west, where you can enjoy sunset cocktail. And this is a hallway to the master bedroom suite. Oh wow, this is so spacious with its own kitchenette. Unlike leasehold properties, foreigners can buy and rightfully own freehold condos in Thailand forever. That's why freehold condos tend to be more desirable and thus more expensive. Italian-made grand walk-in closet from Lima Mobili, Milano. Wow, it's even bigger than my own bedroom. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish our tour in the Sky Lounge. You don't need to go to a Sky Bar. <laughs> and there's a private Sky Dining place where you can hire a professional chef to come over and cook for you in a commercial kitchen and host your own private dinner parties. So, what did you guys think of luxury condos in Bangkok compared to other cities? If you have any questions about luxury condos in Bangkok, I'll leave the agency's contact detail in the description section. 
Let me also know in the comment if you would like to see more property related videos. Alright, this is TJ from TJ Stories and I'll see you next time. Annyeong. Thank you.